how do I introduce you, Peter? Uh, do I introduce you through your world champion line <laughs> the, of green fishers? It's, it's, it's no world champions line. I, I, I'm, I'm a starter. Um, I play two times uh, world championship. Uh, the second time at, I have two uh, four medals, uh, uh, silver, bronze, single, uh, stam, bronze, but for say uh, champion line, it's it's uh, too, too too big. Okay, uh, no, I'm, uh, not champion line, but you are a silver medalist, honestly. So that is a big thing. Yeah, it's it's true, and in, in the BVA Masters uh, from uh, 2019, I had also uh, silver and bronze uh, with other birds than uh, on the championship uh, show. This uh, my la my line is not bad. You think it's not bad, <laughs> earning a silver medal and bronze medal at the same time in the Masters. I think is such a big honor, and hopefully, I think that you will win the gold in the coming. I, I, it's 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 a dream, and I hope it's it's possible. But the difficult is um, the the, the uh, all the shows have uh, another uh, judge people, and their opinion is is not always the same. Oh yes. Uh, I have birds who play on the BVA. Yeah. And I have birds who play on, on other shows. For example, uh, the World Championship. The rules are not everywhere the same. Yes, agreed. The, but the, the stand, uh, most, mostly the standard is the BVA. Yes, uh, yes. That is what I was about to say that the standard is BVA. Yeah, uh, so because I know through uh, talking to quite a lot of people that uh, maybe uh, Holland has its own standards, other countries would would have their own standards. But uh, let's be very honest, it's BVA who uh, introduced everything. They are the pioneers. So and I I like their standards better than anyone else. Yeah, I I also I. I prefer to breed to the standard uh, from from the BVA yeah. uh, but it's it's uh, for some international shows it's not uh, easy uh, to play with the same birds um, for fish it's it's it, it, it's it's normal but for example um, Liliane uh, in, in, in BVA, they have a small bird, but on championship, they like more bigger birds yeah. in Liliane. Yeah. It's, and that's, that's difficult uh, for play. Yes, agreed, agreed. Uh, so uh, can we discuss the uh, differences between, of standards between BVA and other uh, championships because uh, our people should know about this. Honestly, uh, I have come to know about it through talking to experts uh, and talking to you as well quite frequently now that uh, BVA standards have their own, you know, uh, level. Yes. But maybe they are changed in other competitions like for example for the association of holland or if there is a championship going on in uh, uh, portugal or in spain so they would be obviously different it there is a different uh, and th that's the opinion of of the people they they judge the the, the birds uh, everyone have an, an an, an image of, or from a bird and yeah. yeah it's it's not always simple for uh yeah choosing birds for shows yeah. um and there are also two different uh, birds you have uh, the the green line yes 
BVA standard, uh, not red in, in, in the neck. Uh, uh, it's possible a little little uh, uh, yellow on, on the front. Yeah. Good for example, a world show. Yellow in the front, it's not good. A uh, little bit yellow. Eh? It's yeah. most deep orange. Yes. I breed for yeah, show birds and a little bit less uh, pure wild color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I've seen birds, especially if we talk about green fishers, uh, the yellow line that usually we talk about. BVA is quite particular about it and they tell us that, you know, if it has the bird that would have a yellow line, if there is a tie between two, one has yellow line, one ha one doesn't have that yellow line on their chest. So the one that has yes. yellow line would obviously win. Mm, I don't think so. Yeah? I think the the last years, the birds yeah. who won in the BVA yeah. had, has no yellow line in the front. Okay. This, but that's the, the difficult for breeding. Uh, there is normally uh, no uh, red in the neck. Yeah. But when you breed uh, bronze green yeah. neck, it's not always this uh, easy for uh, breed no yellow in the front. Okay. Uh, it's it's with, with the color, the intensity of the color plays for, uh, for breeding ah, birds. And that's the difficult uh, yeah, way for, for choosing breeding couples, uh, not too red. Try to, to breed yeah, bronze green neck, um, like the, the, the standard uh, from the BVA. Yeah. But no, I see the last years, all the shows, the birds with no yellow in the front went. Okay. So, so it's getting difficult by the day. <laughs> yeah. Before you uh, understand things, it's obviously then difficult for a novice uh, person like me or like, for example, people from our country, if they want to dream about competing in the Masters or in World Championships, it is going to be difficult for us to uh, at first breed to that standard. That is why I'm saying, you know, uh, especially I've seen this uh, talking to people that they have a particular eye to breed the show class birds because as we were discussing yesterday as well uh it's it's uh, exper ex it's experience um yes it's it's not about one year two year i breed now for seven years and always i learn each year i learn from for making my couples um and some Couples, I say yesterday to you, uh, I make uh, sometimes a mistake in, in choosing my couples. Uh, exactly. I say yesterday to you, uh, yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in my uh, volier, uh, the, the silver and the bronze choose each other in, 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 the, in the cage, in the, and I breed, and the young youngsters are a disaster. <laughs> so bad, so bad. And when I couple these birds to an, another, a green bird with uh, less um, uh, less quality less quality yes yeah the youngsters are are good i have in my opinion i i think a very very good bird breeding uh, a young bird now three months i, I think it, it it's a very very good bird See, you... that's the difficult you need you need a good standard birds the top birds you breed by yourself but you have to start with good birds yes exactly that is what i tell everyone that to start 
you need basic good standard birth yes. and then yeah. you go on with it and the way you have struggled for 7 to 8 years many have struggled for maybe a decade or two decades and slowly yes. and gra- gradually they are, uh, they are improving when for an example when i make a, a couple i have some very 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 big birds but they have too many red in in the in the neck but i make a combination with a smaller bird yeah. with a good neck color and the youngsters uh, some youngsters are small some older youngsters from from the couple are a good body have a good body and the neck color is better than uh, the, the the biggest uh, who i breed with that's that's the way to walk for uh, a perfect uh, uh bird uh, what is a perfect bird <laughs> good question yeah. uh like we are academics as well peter so we always think that there is utopia but it doesn't exist you know yes, so perfection true. is never there because you you have an an, an image from from a, a good green i have an image and yeah, what's what's the perfect it's between the the the, the two image uh, that's always uh, yeah and 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 in in english uh, always uh, uh an an image yeah for, for everyone uh, it's different it's like the famous philosopher used to say that ideal is real but real is subject to decay you know <laughs> so yes. you i think you have an ideal in your mind but making that ideal you know sometimes you lose the battle but maybe yes, yeah. mostly but it is a matter of you know the closeness to ideal i think yes. that yes. Is, that would be the best word because you know all of us should agree this we can't imitate the wild bird that was there in tanzania that's true you know because of the environment because of their uh, you know the habitat yes we cannot imitate that can we it's true and in 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 the wild uh, you have birds with a lot of yellow in the front uh, red in the neck that's the the the, the wild culture and as as you say yeah, it's it's we we can't um, copy that uh, exactly. and this for build a, a, a good line my opinion is first we have for me a bva standard yeah. and then you buy of your shoes birds good birds some with a very good body yeah some other with a very good color and then you make combinations and I try to make the best bird uh, if if it's possible uh, yeah but I... a good basic birds i can't say how important that is yes uh, i would make it simpler for the audience that it's not a palette that you can pick up paints and then paint you know a picture it's yes. not that that you can choose the colors and make it it's something natural and you yes. have to be careful to make that balance i think which is very yeah, that's true whenever i think about making a balance in a bird so you know we don't know about their genetics so yeah. sometimes one bird would have one color dominant other would be suppressed and sometimes you know it's vice versa so it's very difficult seriously it is i i get scared when i think about it you yeah, it you don't have scared it it's 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 nice of the hobby uh yes and, and cert- certainly when you have a good green bird and you yeah. take that bird for breeding other mutations yes uh, i have some also uh, you see my, my violets and and uh, i have also deck birds i breed sometimes over my green birds and that's the reason that uh, the mask with, with the violets are nice white uh, yes. that's possible with breeding with good 
basic green birds. Oh, and that, not too many red in it. It's, that, it's important for uh, that, as you said, I think basically, you know, I've discussed with many experts till now. Every single one of them used to say and mention that basic green is the most important thing to take out quality in the next breed. You have to have good greens, as you said. Whether you want to improve the size, whether if you if want to improve the colors, green is the thing. Basic key to success is the green. That's that's true, and it's you have to find uh, Bruce. I've when I start, <laughs> and you go see and try to buy uh, good birds. Yeah. And then you have a good base for start. Uh, uh, Peter, we lost you for a, for a few seconds. So if you can please repeat it again, I'm no, I know it's going to be embarrassing. No, it's no problem. It's but, no problem. But, so if you could re, uh, start with your journey, when you were saying that we started, when you started. Uh, when, yeah, when I start, I, I go uh, visit, uh, different, uh, d uh people, breeders yeah. and I have to try uh, buy some good birds, not top birds. Uh, uh, we, are, we must be honest. Uh, honest uh, uh, the best birds, breeder keep it for himself. If you are a hobbyist, uh, not a commercial man, when you are a hobbyist, it's that. But you can find good birds. And you know, sometimes you, if your name is Sami, then you can convince people to give you the best birds as well. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, some some breeders sell for the right price uh, top birds, but the hobby, in my opinion, hobbyist hobbyist people not. We are proud. Uh, I am proud of my birds who uh, have won of of second of third place uh, on a show. I am proud on on these birds, and I try to keep them for breeding my next generations. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, for but, sure. It is a matter of pride when you have a silver and bronze and like your position holders are a pride. As an academic, if you think, your best students are your pride. Yes. You that's... cherish them that, you know, look, this person got developed through me. So yeah, it goes for the birds as well. Yeah, that's the same. Yeah, yeah the yeah, same yeah. vision. Uh, yeah, yeah. And when you make a basic uh, birds, it's, in my opinion, also important. You have uh, some different lines uh, because uh, you try to build your own line. And for started, the basic must be some breed. And then it's not so bad for uh, buy good standard birds from uh, a couple of uh, good breeders and then you build your uh, your own line blood line yeah. and you, can you make pride uh, that's my opinion for good working no i think this is uh, very true i think you need to mix the lines with each other and slowly and gradually you develop from there yeah it's also genetics uh, when the bloodlines too close to each other, yeah. the quality of the birds go uh, behind. Go, uh, it's bad, better, and and uh, that's that's must we try not to do. Uh, we we have good birds with a good uh, healthy, and yeah. then it's 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 important that the bloodlines not too close uh, is. In some mutations, is that a, a very big problem? Uh, on, on the start with, for example, pale follow, yeah. uh, the, the, the line was very close from, from uh, uh, male and female. 
yeah. the young birds, a lot of young birds died the first few days when you make a combination with an, an, an another bloodline, the results uh, uh, are better. And yeah, that, that's the reason why I say that when you start, make a breed basic for uh, different bloodlines. So, uh, and then you can uh, build an, an, a line not too, uh, too small. Yes, agreed. So uh, basically, you know, that is why for uh, my benefit and for the benefit of my country fellows as well and other learners as well who want to learn and who wish to progress in this hobby. That is why I started uh, with the green line. They should know about the importance of the greens. That is why I particularly ask about greens from every ex uh, expert that I have ever talked to, whether it's you or others, people know about them. But it's very important to understand the importance of greens. Yeah, Once, but yeah, yeah. It, 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 in, in, here in, in, in Belgium and, and Holland, I see some breeders, they have only mutation yes. birds and that's Ah, I don't understand that. I say always when you start, take some green birds yeah. for uh, breed good mutation. And some breed, sometimes I have on vis uh, uh, some uh, breeders uh, visit me and they tell me uh, my, my, my mutations and uh, the quality is not so good. And then I ask, have you green birds for uh, a breed good split birds. Oh, green, no, no, no. Uh, mutation, mutation, it's nicer, it's nicer. That's not the, the, the way for uh, breed quality birds of, of good birds. Exactly. And that's, uh, I can't understand some uh, breeders, young breeders here in Belgium also, uh, also Belgium, Holland, uh, Germany. Uh, I, I understand. Here, I would like to admit that even here in my country, in Pakistan, I rarely see uh, good green birds. Yes. And people should, that is why uh, I always discuss this, that everybody should concentrate on greens as well to improve their on their mutations as well. That will bear more fruit for them, I think. Yeah, that's true. Run. Yeah. When you are a mutation breeder, it's not bad, uh, uh, but you have always need two, three couples uh, green birds for uh, breeders. My opinion for breed split birds, for good uh, split birds. And then you uh, have a, normally a good uh, mutation line. Yeah. But uh, a couple of weeks ago, it was a, a young guy. Uh, uh, who start with Fisher, uh, uh, mutation. He, he wants only mutation uh, because I, the, the color is, is nice. Uh, but I try to explain from take also some green. No, no, only mutation because the color is, is nicer than green. Okay, but yeah, you, you have to think, think up on a, a longer time and not a short time. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, some people, yeah, don't, don't <laughs> won't listen to to uh, advice. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, Peter, I would request you to uh, a little bit tilt your camera uh, downwards so that you know we can see. Oh yes, no, no, yeah. a little bit up. That's it. Yeah, okay. that's it. That's it. That's it. Great. So uh, maybe those people who want some finances as well and want to do business, but they don't understand that even if you are into business of birds, you need better greens. Yeah, that's, but business, yeah, you say the word. Uh, for me, it's a hobby. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, not, not commercial uh, and it costs me every month. Uh, uh, a lot of money for food and and and, and, and uh, but that's my hobby uh, it's for me it's 
okay, no problem. Uh, but yeah, we have that. Yeah, that's when young people sometimes start. They think, ah, oh, mutation. Uh, they cost more. I can sell them for more money. Yes. Yeah, that's so. Uh, uh, so yeah, that that is a, it's not the right word. Um, uh, uh, yeah. I, I can't find the word. Uh, it, it, it's not good. Uh, it, it, Peter, I, I would make it simplified. It's that bad that we can't even find a word for it. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so uh, it's good that you are uh, emphasizing on the importance of greens. And I hope that my listeners, the viewers, would eventually start going towards greens as well, because that will eventually improve the quality. And if they want to do some business, even then it is going to pay them forward and pay them quite a lot in the longer run, as you said. Yeah, that's, yeah. You have seen also uh, my, my videos. Uh, I have also Nigrigenes. Yes. Uh, uh, the most birds that I have are greens. Yes. Uh, I, 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 now I uh, working together with uh, Glenn Ohms um, with, with uh, a BVA project 4,900 uh, yep. with the Nigrigenes. Uh, okay. For breeding pure green. Uh, it's, it's very important uh, to I protect. Have, I have also been very lucky to have seen uh, Glenn's uh, aviary as well. And it was such a beautiful sight to see all those beautiful birds going on. Nice setup. And he's a wonderful guy as well. My upcoming interview that will be published is with Glenn Ohms. Ah, so wow. people, yeah. yeah, so your interview, when this will be published, people would have already seen Glenn's uh, setup. Ah, it's good. It's good. Oh, yeah, but... so, Glenn, I'm going stepwise towards yeah, and trying to touch every expert there is. Yes, Maybe yes, you don't call yourself an expert, but for me, compared to myself, for me, you are an expert. And I'm a, I'm a no ex, uh, expert. In my opinion, I'm a hobbyist, uh, and that's that's for the importance. That's that's the pleasure I have. It's, and, it, that is why I said uh, in comparison to me, because, you know, I am a newbie in this hobby. So obviously, you know, quite a lot as compared to what I know. So, yeah, and I, I find very good. You will, uh, for you and your people in Pakistan, uh, yeah. to uh, ex uh, explain uh, from breeders from other countries, uh, what's good is and, and what our opinion is, is yes that, that's the way for learn from each other each other yes yes uh, that is what i love in this hobby you know my other hobby uh, peter i would share with you that i i am a very avid golfer as well i play ah, golf yes. and even in that hobby you would get thousands of people giving you advices about how to hit a shot Although none of us can improve just the way in the bird hobby, you know, you can't get to the perfection. If you can see, uh, there would be golfers like Tiger Woods would make such a mistake that you would think, how did he do this? But it happens. So that is what happens in birds as well. You can never yes. get that perfection. That is what, you know, intrigues me a lot. And for the benefit of my people, in the coming days, once this breeding season is over, I'm going to translate all these sessions in our local languages so that they can understand properly. Because it's, it's not our it's mother tongue. Idea. No, I, I, I find it a super idea. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when we can help people, it's, it's a, also a pleasure for us. Uh,